All right, it is the next morning. What is it? Friday morning. I got another recommendation for another hike off of Bumble. Just so you know, you don't have to use that app just to try to hook up with people all the time. Sometimes you can just talk to the locals, get ideas, figure out what the good stuff around is. Super sick view. It's supposed to be warm today. It's fucking cold as fuck, but this hike is badass. So again, kind of waking up feeling over it, even wondering if I should just go back, but glad I hiked this. Um, went to check out of the Days in, and of course they have a sign saying they're going to be gone for a while, so I just left my shit. Um, they charged my card, $80 they shouldn't have, and I don't know what the fuck. So I'm going to get a different hotel tonight. I really have no idea what the fuck I'm going to do the rest of the day, but I have to keep doing shit until 4, until I can check out, and it's like 10 in the morning, so... We gotta figure something out. Um, might get coffee with who recommended this hike to me tomorrow. Um, kind of giving up on the other senorita, but uh, it's all good. This is dope. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Strange adventure here. Yes, it is. Glad I'm documenting myself talking. Not sure I'm going to show this to anyone, but we'll see. If you're watching it, I changed my mind. a video without a little drama I realized I'm on empty and I'm kind of in the woods away from a gas station so this already weird trip could get a whole lot shittier but we're gonna make it you're supposed to just believe good things will happen and then they'll happen that's what the fucking hippies do I don't know we're 12 minutes and four miles away from a gas station a lot of downhill I think we're gonna fucking make it oh! All right, I made it to the gas station, false alarm. I live for the drama, I live for the thrill. Um, now I'm gonna get Mexican food and figure out what the fuck to do for four hours. All right, it's about one o'clock. I'm tired, I'm burned out. Um, but I still have three hours to kill until I can check into my new hotel room, so I guess I'm gonna go hiking again. And then I need a nap. Um, yeah, feeling a little defeated, but we'll try to snap out of it when you want to check out a new place, because where you live in isn't really, doesn't seem all that great. You go thinking you're going to meet up with a couple people, do a few things. I think it's all going to be fun and dandy when it doesn't work out like that. Uh, it's a little bummer, but you got to like Jocko Willick will say, when shit gets bad, you can't give up. You got to fight harder and harder. So I will begrudgingly, half-willingly keep fighting, man. I'm going to go hiking again at the pyroglyphs, paraglyphs, pyramacoglyphs, our ancient writings from our ancient ancestors. I think I've hiked this with my parents before, actually, a couple of years ago, but, uh, Albuquerque for life. Fuck yeah. Our ancient ancestors were clearly trying to tell us, stop, keep going, do not stop in this place. It's not worth it. The world didn't listen. Right, 
just hiked around. Uh, it's kind of cool. Method Butch. My Achilles are pretty fucked, so I think I gotta chill on the cardio. Um, I think I'm gonna go drive. It's kind of on the opposite end of town, but might as well go to the war zone. For there's a really, really rough area. I don't think a white dude with a video camera would be a good idea, so I might drive through and you might have to miss the war zone, but I'm going to the war zone. I'm going to the war zone. the war zone seems pretty calm didn't see too much sketchiness or anything so I don't know some of the houses actually look nice so I hope it all stays that way all right it's the next morning I'm ready to go home I had twisters Mexican food twice yesterday had two beers at La Cumbre and the last one was a dank IPA, and that got my brain pretty fucking rattled up for just having two drinks. Um, had to chill. I ended up ordering Grubhub again, <laughs> getting more food. It was crazy. Um, yeah. The trip was... had its ups and downs. Can't say I'm in a huge hurry to come back here, or that I got much love, but... It is beautiful and did some good hiking, so that's always a cool thing. And I broke the monotony of my life, man. But maybe come on a weekend when people can hang out or don't have any expectations of anyone wanting to be around you. Oh man, oh man. You might find, you know what I'm saying? Now, um, Skate Bro Monaco can meet up, it looks like. So, yeah, and you just show up somewhere randomly on weekdays. People can't always hang out, but uh, you know, think skateboarding is gonna go down, which is beautiful. incredible solid dude highlight of the trip for sure um, and then driving away I was planning on driving straight to the Springs the uh, 
Bumble girl who was giving me all the hiking spots was like, I can meet you at a brewery right now. So it's literally on the highway and I'm in a town just outside of Albuquerque. Only had one beverage an hour ago, so I'm good to drive. But uh, no, I'd say it went better than the first one. Weren't quite on the same wavelength, but we were so close. We were so close. But um, who knows? Maybe we'll hang out again one day. But um, it was fun. But anyway, now I'm going to have to drive in the fucking dark. So that probably wasn't worth it at all, actually. But um, I like to meet random people. I'm weird. It's fun, though. Um, she likes yoga. You know? <laughs> Um, no, she's chill. Very, very calm, very mellow tone, and I'm a fucking spaz, but, um, anyway, time to drive. I might get another hotel room further up in New Mexico so I don't have to drive too much at nighttime, but we'll see. Anyway, um, you know, sometimes you gotta go for it, and not every little thing's gonna go right, but plenty went right today, which was dope, because I was kind of over it earlier. All right, I made it two hours to Las Vegas, New Mexico, and called it quits. Didn't feel like driving anymore. Started to crash out. Um, didn't want to drive in the dark. You can call me a wuss, but uh, got a nice budget in here. Might be the nicest place I've stayed all trip. Um, but no, amazing trip, and one thing I think I have learned is that through hip problems, through Achilles tendon problems, through injuries, I've kind of limited my skateboarding, limited my cardio, gained a bunch of fucking weight, which I saw in the skate footage from earlier, but uh, no, I hiked heavy two days in a row, and then skated on the third day, and did a bunch of shit that I didn't think I still had, so it's like, why did it take a vacation to realize that? So, it's time to start pushing it, it's time to start getting it. I love drinking seltzer water.